For the Daily Commercial News in 90, I'm Lori Farfaglia. Hundreds gathered in downtown Leesburg this week to take part in a community walk intended to promote love and acceptance instead of hate. The Love Walk began on Pine Street and ended at City Hall and was led by Sheriff Peyton Grinnell and Leesburg Police Chief Rob Hicks. Several community leaders also came out to support the cause. Lake County residents are stepping up to help Texans battered by Hurricane Harvey. Dare to Deliver the Difference, a Eustace-based nonprofit food charity, says it has delivered almost 17,000 meals. The Leesburg Partnership recently received top honors for outstanding special event by both the Florida Main Street Program and the Florida Festivals and Events Association. The event that drew all the recognition was when the Budweiser Clydesdales came to Leesburg. The event had over 10,000 people attend with just a week's notice. Sheriff's deputies deal with all kinds of dangers, but last week Lake County's finest got to deal with a critter not often seen in these parts. Utility workers came across a nine-foot red-tailed boa constrictor in the Royal Trails area of Eustis. Deputies caught the snake and turned it over to the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, who took it to a reptile facility. Lake County Schools is about to begin testing a digital classroom concept. By October, 10 high schools will connect to the cloud in a test run of Google's Suite for Education using new Chromebook laptops. The test run comes with a $67,000 price tag and gets paid for with an initiative by the Florida Department of Education. For more local news, check out dailycommercial.com. That's this week's Daily Commercial News in 90 on LSTV. I'm Lori Farfaglia. Production support for News in 90 made possible by ERA Grizzard's Paige Whittle.